What's going on YouTube? I'm Slick, that's Slick Jackson, and if you're looking for the coolest, grooviest content on the side, well, you've come to the right place. A lot of you might think that I live a pretty normal life, just a warehouse worker trying to get by in the world with what little he's got, all the while trying to make a few people smile with his niche YouTube channel. And you know, if that was that, I'd be damn happy. But truth be told, my life has been one giant roller coaster start to finish, I'm telling you. When they make movies about me, people are gonna be like, there's no way that that happened, but chances are, it did. I wanna tell you all one such story of my life, the first, last, and only time I've ever went to a gay bar. And for the record, no, I am not gay, sorry to dash your hopes and dreams. Now you might be saying, well Slick, if you ain't gay, what the hell were you doing at a gay bar? And to answer that, we gotta go to the beginning. So anyways, I'm gonna set the scene here. It's a Friday night, and it has been a week. I've just finished my shift, I'm tired, I'm exhausted, and I'm thinking, it's time to let off some steam so I call up some friends ask if they wants to buy a bottle at the liquor store and get drunk off our asses down at the park as friends typically do. Now one of my friends, we'll call him Joe, he tells me he needs my help to get his car keys cause he left it somewhere. So alright, I pick him up and he gives me directions to where we gotta go and we drive for about 10 minutes until we reach the good part of town and then we drive some more till he tells me to pull over. Alright, so we pull over and he points at a gay bar that's just across the street he tells me that I got to go in there to get his keys cause he can't go inside himself cause he's banned. Now I have several things on my mind, I says Joe Listen here, Joe. First off, I ain't going inside no gay bar. Second of all, what were you even doing in a gay bar? Third, what in the blue hell did you do to get yourself banned from a gay bar? Well, after a brief argument, I figure, fine, let's not waste any more time than we already have. I'll go in, ask the bartender if he's got the keys, it's an in and out ordeal. So I get out of the car, walk inside, and I don't know what I was expecting, but the bar itself looked like a normal bar. Like, I don't know, for a gay bar, it didn't feel gay, you know? I guess I thought it was gonna be a little more flamboyant. I don't know. Now, I'm moving through the bar like I'm some sort of SWAT soldier, right in the house or something, you know? I'm cautious, my head's on a swivel, you know the deal, you know? never know what's gonna happen with these sorts of things. I make it to the bartender and I say, hey, I'm looking for some keys. They belong to my good friend named Joe. And as soon as I said Joe, he rolled his eyes. He looked peeved. Like, I, I, I was really wondering what in Sam's Hill did that boy do? So he goes, gets the keys, and as he plops them down on the counter, I hear someone behind me say something like, hey cutie, and I feel some hands on my glorious body. Now let me tell you, I don't care who you are, gay, straight, woman, or man, you don't touch Slick unless you wanna be touched. I digress. Now this man is touching me in a weird way, and I don't feel good about that, so I whip around and I shove him. And I shove him hard, like I do admit, I probably did shove him a little too roughly. Because he went flying onto a table, which some people were still sitting at. And at this point, the bar's all quiet, and all of a sudden, I see a bouncer coming over. He's big, dude. And in hindsight, he was probably just gonna try to calm the situation down and escort us out of the bar in a civil manner. But I was filled with all of this adrenaline, you know what? I, I just, I couldn't think straight. So I grabbed the keys, I lunged past the bouncer, and I was gonna try to smash through the door with my shoulder. You know, like how they do in the movies. Except the door was partially open. I didn't see that at the time. So I end up jumping through the door, full force, over the stairs, damn near cracked my head open on the pavement, and I hear someone from the bar say, Oh my god, are you alright? But I was off, baby. I threw the keys inside of the car, I dived in the back seat through the passenger window, I told Joe to push it, and before you knew it, he jumped over to the driver's seat, and we were off. Now, I don't know if I'm officially banned from that bar, I don't know if it really matters, because it's not like I was ever gonna go back there anyways, but Joe got his damn keys, and I got the hell out of there with my anal virginity intact, so as far as I'm concerned, it's yet another win for the Slickster. Now, what's the moral of the story here, kids? I don't know. I'll leave that up to your interpretation, but for now, that's all I've got for this shtick. Nah, you guys do old Jack your favor and keep it groovy. Thank you. Thank you very much.